649 right now. Time for the morning rush. It is day two in the trial of the man accused of hitting and killing a seven year old who was leaving the River of Lights in 2021. On court yesterday, the defense said that the man accused of being behind the wheel, Sergio Almanza, takes responsibility for hitting and killing Pronoy Batacharia, but is fighting the DWI charge. If convicted, Almanza could spend up to 27 years in prison. The Bernalillo County District Attorney is promising to hold teens accountable when they commit adult crimes. With the latest case of a five-year-old being shot in a drive-by, DA Sam Bregman says this now brings the number of teens his office has charged with murder this year to 12. Well, BCSO is looking for the man they say tried to steal a cartload of merchandise from Walgreens. In June, a customer captured this image of the man they say tried to roll out a cart that was filled with makeup and other items. The man was last seen fleeing in a blue or green Saturn sedan. Anyone with information is asked to call BCSO. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. 75 this morning. We're off to a very warm start, but you may want a rain layer. Today we could see some spotty showers throughout the day with a high of 87. A new report from the city of Albuquerque shows drivers are slowing down. The city's report shows about a 7% decrease in the average driver speed in areas known for speeding. It's after placing 17 cameras along those stretches. Well, now the city is looking to place cameras along more roadways, working with the state DOT to add the technology along Coors and Paseo del Norte. Well, officials have now cut the ribbon on the new 29 million 44,000 square foot forensic lab in Santa Fe yesterday. Non-drug related evidence like DNA, fingerprints and firearm analysis will be tested there. The lab will be the largest forensic laboratory here in New Mexico. A restored World, World War II steam locomotive will travel from its storage site on 8th Street. That's to Tractor Brewing in Wells Park. The public can check out the locomotive and learn about its history while enjoying live music and brews. The free event will happen this Saturday from 10 to 4. Erica. Here's a look at our threat index. It is moderate to high today. We'll see a chance for flooding in southern and western New Mexico from heavy rain, along with some gusty winds and spotty showers in the metro. A longtime bookseller here in the metro will soon be closing up shop for good. Dorothy Scribner has owned and operated Manal Book Exchange at Manal and Eubank for 48 years. Her last day in business is planned for September 8th. That's unless the books run out before then. A new partnership in Gallup is providing affordable daycare to students and educators in that area. The new daycare Bright Future Child Care Center is located at UNM Gallup campus. Parents working for the school district will pay 25% of their daycare fees. The district will pay for the rest. Erica. All right, a check on traffic. Traffic is looking fine. No accidents or slowdowns. And Tracker is heading south on I-25 near Lead and Cole. Oh, looking pretty empty on that route right now. One animal at the Tennessee Zoo has something so rare it has not been seen in nearly 50 years. Bright's Zoo in Limestone, Tennessee says that a female giraffe was born last month but was missing something, her spots. The zoo's director says it's good that she was born in captivity since the spots are a way of camouflaging giraffes in the wild. Time now for the five facts. At number five, it's the final chapter for a longtime bookseller here in the Metro as they'll soon be closing their doors for good. Dorothy Scrivener has owned and operated Manal Book Exchange at Manal and Eubank for 48 years. During her last few weeks in business, Scrivener is unloading books by the box load, saying goodbye to her loyal customers. Her last day in business is planned for September 8th, unless the books run out sooner. At number four, BCSO is looking for the man they say tried to steal a cartload of merchandise from Walgreens. In June, a customer captured this image of the man that deputies say tried to roll out a cart that was filled with makeup and other items. At first, employees locked the doors to stop him. And after witnesses say that the man threatened a customer with a hammer, the employees then unlocked the door and the man fled in a blue or green Saturn sedan with the driver waiting inside. Anyone with information is asked to call BCSO. And at number three, we'll be seeing uh, tropical moisture in the state today. So therefore, widespread rain across western and southern New Mexico. We'll see a chance for hit or miss rain in the metro, driest skies up in the northeast highlands and east plains. At number two, just months after the city cut down bus routes because of a driver shortage, changes could soon be on the way again as problems with the transit system continue. The city is now suspending more bus services throughout the metro area, including service along Central, saying that the driver shortage is only getting worse. Now the city is facing more than 100 vacancies for the job. The department says that they are working on incentives to bring in more workers and that the recent changes have allowed them to move drivers to different routes to fill gaps. 
And at number one, it is day two in the trial of the man accused of hitting and killing a seven year old who was leaving the River of Lights in 2021. In court yesterday, prosecutors showed video of APD responding to that deadly crash and the boy's mother forced to relive the death of her seven year old son, Pranoy Bhattacharya. Well, the defense said that the man accused of being behind the wheel, Sergio Almanza, takes responsibility for killing Batacharia, but is fighting the DWI charge. If convicted, Almanza could spend up to 27 years in prison.